If you don't like intro, skip below. Bradley's birthday is today. I would like to say happy birthday, Brad. Mm, hugs. This show is unstable. Eventually, these main characters, Riley and Brad, play switch bodies. And that's where I feel the show kind of goes from, oh, okay, to splendid, perfect, great, hilarious. So episodes four through seven were nonstop hilarity to me. Hilarity? Now, <laughs> people started having their own things going on. We didn't get to finish the show. So eventually, I got Laura to do a little episode, episode eight, which... I threw up online and then later took down because it was so silly, I <laughs> ended up playing Bradley as a character who went through an operation just so I could finish the show. And now it is here intact with the rest of the episode, so you can watch it like one big movie. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Open your eyes, PJ. She's not cheating on you, man. Her best friend is a guy. Like, in the movies... The girl always gets with the best friend. Come on, man. You're a stud. You're a great guy. Fantastic. Best thing to ever happen to her, man. You're just all well-rounded. Is that a bowling ball? Probably the most random, weirdest thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I wonder where it's going. It's a bowling ball. It doesn't have a fucking location where it's going. So where's this at? It's just right over here, man. Over here at this apartment. Hey, you guys can't park there. What? You guys can't park there. Why don't you get a little bit closer? Get in conversation range. You guys can't park here. Oh, well, how about this? Spit? <laughs> yeah, what do, you, what do you think about that now? Huh? You feel like you're gonna speak up again, randomly? Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep it moving, Tonto. Keep it going. Step along. You know what? Yeah, sit down. That's what I thought. Same spot. Yeah, sit there, Miss Muffet. Head down. Don't even look at me. Don't even look at me. I don't want any eye contact. You already pissed me off. You know what? Matter of fact, why don't you lay down? I want your face first on the ground, all right? Yeah. This is America, goddammit. I can park wherever the fuck I want. I can't believe you guys, man. That was fucking exhilarating. I need a cigarette. Oh, that was crazy. I wanted to smack him in the face so many times. You gotta be more covert, man. Get down. Like Splinter Cell. Block. You know? Oh, like that one dude with the beard? No, the game where you fucking sneak around in jail. Yeah. I don't think she's home. I'm pretty sure that's her right there. Once again, you're fucking wrong. Once again, it's like the first time all day. What, uh, what kind of crazy kinky shit you think she's doing in there? She's freaking cooking. Oh, yeah. What kind of crazy kinky shit do you think she's cooking? I don't know. I'd fucking love it if she's cooking some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is gross. Mac and cheese is crazy kinky. Oh, shit, where's she going? Fuck, I don't know. Oh, shit. Abort mission. Abort... Mission is now in birth. No, oh, yeah, it's real funny because we just got it aborted. The mission was just aborted. That's funny. It's a funny joke. Do you have to sit there and pick at all my jokes? What the fuck? Do you know anything about sneaking into girls' houses? No. I'm gonna go hit the fridge, grab something to get my thirst gone. All right. You go warm up the bedroom. Oh. I'm thirsty. Go warm this it up. Sounds go warm it up. I'm thirsty. Messed up. If there's come on. If there's condoms, used condoms oh, in there. Shut up. Oh, there is a fucking coke in here. <sighs> fucking refreshing. What's happening, bro? What up? Why are you still on the bed? Awesome! You see that? Awesome! It's 
fucking awesome. That's panties, bro. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh shit. That's what I'm fucking talking about, man. There's gotta be way better shit hidden. Trust me. Nope. That was pointless. Why the fuck are you looking in the VCR? Oh, yeah. Selling these. Let's bail, man. This place blows. Yeah, I gotta go back to Maggie's anyway. I gotta go back to Maggie's anyway. Shut up. Hey, what's up, babe? Where have you been? This on straight? No. Yeah, it was. There. It was no. on straight. No, it was. It was over to the side I, a little bit. I know it was. It was straight. No. I, it... I know it was straight. Okay, I don't care about the hat. Where have you been? Your mom's called and asked a couple times, like. Oh, um, what she want? She uh, wanted to see if we'd come over on Friday for dinner. So wait, isn't that, isn't Friday our anniversary? You've been nagging about it for like three weeks straight? Yeah. I, I told you we could go anywhere on our anniversary and you would choose to go to my mom's house. Like, seriously. Like, we could literally go there right now. I don't want to, but we could. No, we couldn't because your mom works tonight. She works all this weekend. The only night she's free is Friday. She says you've never even brought a girlfriend home before. Because she's weird. How is she weird? Anytime I've ever had anyone over, she would do weird stuff. She would sit in between me and my friend whenever we'd be watching cartoons. She would force us to eat ice cream, like a full bowl of ice cream. And then she would lay down in between us when we were sleeping, like a sleepover. You're not a little kid anymore. I mean, she probably will. I'm hoping she does, she won't do that anymore. It, and it doesn't even matter if she's weird. I, I have, it's been six months and I have no relationship with your mom. None. Like, I've never even really met her. And you're like really good friends with my dad. Nah, yeah, we're not pretty good friends. You're going fishing tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I guess we're cool. But my mom is not cool. I think she seems nice. <sighs> Alright, fine. We'll go. But I can guarantee you we're not going to have any fun at all. Babe, seriously. None. Babe. Zilch. Babe. No. Squat. Babe. None. Babe, I love you. None. Babe, I love you. Zilch. Babe, I love you. So, I mean, it's going to be fun no matter what. It's going to be me and you and your family. You're right. I love you, too. Good. So, um, I know I have to get up early to go fish with my dad tomorrow, but, uh, before you go, do you want to play with these aliens? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Kiss it. No, no. I gotta go sleep. Uh, no. Nope. Just kiss it. I'm gonna it's kiss cute. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey. Hey, I gotta go fishing with your dad. Okay. Call me later. Alright, we're gonna catch some big ones. Alright, we're gonna get some, uh, oh. What's up, Rich? Not much, what's going on? Brought by some blazies for us, uh, you got some money? You, you betcha. You always got money. For that. Awesome, man. King. <laughs> That's what I've been looking for. Want to smoke one? Yeah! Spark one up! Yeah! Light it more fire! How's that taste? Yummy! Mm -hmm. Some good shit! Yeah! <sighs> What'd you tell Maggie we were doing today? Told her we were fishing! Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course she believed it! Yeah. <laughs> fishing for the bud? <laughs> Just that right high. You had a bitch call today and wanted her shit out of the shed. Yeah, yeah right. Bitch, you divorced me. That shit's mine. Yeah, dude. So, what's in the shed? Yeah, just some horse figurines. 
I'm gonna keep him. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would. <laughs> yeah. You ought to come by and smash him with me. Oh, you're smashing him? Oh, dude, I'm down on that. Yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, thanks for letting me hit this, but uh, but uh, you know, I gotta go. So. Cool. Peace out. Hi, right, man. That's that heat. Yo, Lucas. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, I don't know any other way to put this than think of your ears as a tight pussy and this these rhymes right here as a big dick. Just just taking it to your ears. Like, this shit is dope. Yeah, like... Big old Danny dick. How big we talking? Like, big dick in your ear. This shit is off the chain. Let's hear it. Alright, alright, you ready for this shit? Y'all ready to hear this? Yeah. You, you, alright, alright. Ham boy with a gun. I got wings that are red. Bread baked chicken in my lunchbox. Give me a Goldilocks. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally. like... Yeah. Yeah, man. It's a dick in the ear, right? Like an explosion. Just ended with a big explosion, like, in my ear. The dick exploded while it was in my head. What I tell you about that? <sighs> Were those headphones that I plugged in? Did he think? Nah, man. They don't really need to be plugged in. Anything flows all up here, man. You know how real I am. Other note, dude. Brought a cash crop. Bracelets. Yep. Wanted to trade it in for the cash. The real cash. You know what I'm saying? How much do you think we can get for these? Uh, so y'all want to see what's up on some Goldilocks, huh? Well, it should be worth something, right, man? Pretty, pretty shiny. Yeah, for sure, I, I can do you something. Let me check these out real quick. Let me check these out. Gun check them. Gun check them. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Look at them following the crowd. Maggie, hope I don't follow the crowd with me. Ah, uh, uh, Maggie, I fell on the ground. Come help me. I thought we were going to hang out. I didn't think I was going to sit here and watch you be an idiot and fall on the ground. Maggie, you need to stop being a bitch. Yeah, okay. I'm serious, though. So, uh, what's PJ doing? He's, uh, fishing with my dad. Mm. Don't start this again. No, I'm not trying to start anything. I just don't believe that that's what he's doing. Okay, because I could call my dad right now and ask him what they're doing, and he would tell me that they were fishing. Well, then go ahead. You got a phone, don't you? Okay. I didn't want to do this because I've already had this conversation with you, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just to prove to you that you're a dumbass. Thanks. No problem. Hey, Dad. Yeah, hey, baby girl. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, fishing with PJ. Oh, what's that? Can you tell Kevin specifically what you're doing right now? Uh, fishing with PJ. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, I believe you. Oh, uh, that, that's all. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye. What, what was that face? Why would you make that face? Do you really think my dad's going to lie for PJ? I don't know. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Hey, did you see me? Uh, let's go. I want to go home and change before PJ comes over. Beat you to the car. These real? You know how I like my shit real, homie. Yeah. You know I'm real. So I'm going to cut you a real nice deal. Alright. On these. Let's see what I can do. I get you four dollars. Ham. Are you serious, Ham? This dollar Ham for one. Hey, you, you know I'm real, and you know that's the best I can do for. I always treat. I always treat my guys good. Times are rough. Time, yeah. Times are hard. You know what I'm saying? You aren't weighing in. You aren't weighing the factors, man. We were in a house that wasn't ours. Dude. I. I. We stole them out of a drawer. Hold on. Hold the fuck up. So they're hot. 
You trying to bring me hot <laughs> merchandise? No. He meant they were hot as in they're fucking, they're fly as shit, dude. Oh. We know how real they're, you are. They're not in a, they were oh. in a house that we didn't know. I kind of knew the person. You I mean, I've seen him before. No. Because if you're trying to bring me some hot merchandise, then we're going to have some real problems. No, no, we have no. some real problems because you know I'm real. They're lukewarm, if anything. They're lukewarm. Yeah. Like that piss, that piss warm, you yeah, know, like not scolding hot, but... Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like that morning piss. It's not like the toilet seat cold, but it's no. still piss warm. Uh, straight out the urethra. Alright, alright. Now go back to my flow, then. Yeah, I do you. I'm real. Hey, those, those aren't plugged into anything still. I told you, I'm real. They ain't gotta be plugged into shit. That flow's in my head, dog, I told you. Are you okay? I'm real. No. I'm real. No. I told you I'm real. No. I told you I'm real, dog. I'm real. Can we just squash the beef? We're all bros here. All right. Now that it's squashed, can we just, you know, hang out? You know, we got the transaction down. It's settled. Let's just hang out like good old days. Kick it. Chop it up. Chop it up. Yeah, we good. We good. All right, for sure. Okay. PJ, my bad, homie. You know I'm real. I get carried away sometimes. That's my bad. Hey, let's sit down. Let's chalk it up. Mm. That's what daddy's talking about right there. You need oh, that. Oh, you need the tension. Man, you could cut the tension with a knife oh, in here, huh? I know, man. It got, a little, got a little crazy. Oh, yeah. My, hey, PJ, my bad, homie. You know, you know how I'm real. I get carried away. That's my bad. Oh, straight, dude. I know you're real. So you still with that nasty ass meat curtain having STD spreading looking ass fucking better turn the lights out when you're about to wax and put two paper bags over her head just in case one falls off. Wrap it two or three times. Nasty smelling. Scratching my back all to hell. Gang banging. Train running. Nasty ass hoe ears. Yeah. Yeah I am. <laughs> Man. Yeah he is. Man that bitch is fucking nasty. Didn't she stick a baby alligator up her pussy? Yeah, not really, cause it was it was like the tail, like of the alligator, but it only went in like halfway. God Always dang. razzing you about her. God damn. It's all good, man. It's I'm Eric, real. I'm it, real, and that's a real nasty hoe. Needed that. Oh, you need the tension, man. You could cut the tension with a knife. Oh, here, huh? I know, man. It got Hell. a little, got a little crazy. Oh yeah, my hey, PJ, my bad, homie. You know, you know how I'm real. I get carried away. That's my bad. Oh, straight, dude. I know you're real. Maggie? Is that you? What's wrong? You sound upset on the phone. Alright, hey, hey, you, you gotta take it off. I can't understand what you're saying. I don't even know why you're, you're wiring it in the first place. You've been kind of distant the past few days. What are you talking about? We just played with aliens last night. You didn't even tell me where you were last night before you came over. It's because I wasn't doing anything. Then why weren't you answering my texts? Because I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> that makes... no... Um, what is that? I don't know, check it out. You check it out. No. I'm not checking that out. My mom said there was a possum in the kitchen earlier. That's probably it. You gotta kill it. Be a man, PJ. <sighs> That's it.
It was your posse up, possum. Huh? Come around here, you. Stop, 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 PJ. Check if it's dead. Get my fingertips bloody? No. Just do it. Okay. Oh my god! You killed Brutus! Yeah. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> no. Don't cry. Come on, hey. It's alright, come on. Come on, let's, let's go, uh, let's go lay down. Come on. Let's go lay down. Take a nap. No, he's in a better place. Come on, follow the leader. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I killed the dog. What, is, what does that mean? No, it's okay. It was an accident. Is that, is that murder? No. I mean... Well, technically it is murder. And you can go to, like, jail for that. I think, yeah, you can't go to jail for that, but I'm not gonna turn you in or anything, so... You better not turn me in, because if you did, then I would tell him it was your idea to kill it. You would do that? You jerk? The only way I would turn you in is if you turn me in. So you'd be the jerk. But it was my dog, so it would be my decision to turn you in. Because it was my dog. But you told me to kill it. I wouldn't have killed it if you would have been like, Oh, PJ, kill that, it's a possum. Boo. I don't care. But you did kill it, and that was the point. You killed my dog. Uh, <laughs> PJ. PJ, get it. PJ. Ah! 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 Oh! PJ, wake up! No! Would you look at me, PJ? No. Yes, wake up. Fine. What the heck? Yeah, I know. I'm you. I know. How did this happen? I don't freaking know. Are you going to try and figure it out? No. See, this is what I'm talking about, PJ. You, you never try to help me figure out anything, ever. What the hell do you expect me to say in something like this? You think I'm an expert on how to switch bodies? I've never switched bodies before. Oh great. Get an attitude. That's that's gonna help everything. That's gonna, it's, it's gonna fix it. You already have an attitude. I have an attitude because you have an attitude about something I have no control over. I don't- I didn't make us switch bodies. Always placing the blame somewhere else. How is this me placing the blame on someone else? I didn't do it. How do I know you didn't do it? Oh yeah, because I wanna be you. Oh, I have a penis. Yeah, I hate it. I'm tired of having this little thing. Little? Shut up. I have to be at work in 30 minutes. You're going to have to get dressed and go for me. Why can't I just call in sick? I already used all my sick days because I took them when I was taking care of you. Well, I guess I'll have to go into work for you. Do you have anything planned today to do? I don't know. I think I have to help my mom with something. Fine. You do that. I'm going to go to your mom's. Call me if you need anything. Okay, whatever.
Mmm. Ooh, way better than work. Mmm. You got another one of them bad boys? Bad boys? Yeah, one of them blunts you had yesterday in your pocket. In my pocket? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, well, there's the money. Uh, ah, yeah, what I've been looking for. You smoke pot? Yeah, you want to hit? No, I do not want to hit. You never turned it down yesterday. Okay. We gotta go break them horse figurines today, remember? Wait, what figurines? The ones in the shed. The bitches. Well, she got them with Maggie, so I think that, you know, they'd both be a little upset if you broke them. Where's that come from? Yesterday you just wanted to break them. I would never want to break those. I mean, I just think we should rethink about breaking them. Why? She's a bitch. Look, I gotta go. No, you're breaking these horse fingerings, damn it. Oh. Hmm, Kevin. Hey. You wanna meet me at my house in like 10 minutes? <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Kevin. I'm gonna get you. Hey, what's up, Maggie? Oh. Hello, Kevin. How are you? How are you, Kevin? I'm good. What do you want to do? I, uh, I want to sit on this couch. You want to sit on that couch with me, Kevin? Sure. Why not? So, are we gonna watch a movie or something? I was, uh, thinking something like we normally do. You know. Kevin. Go to the park or something? I don't know what normally means. PJ's off doing his studly thing, and I'm sitting here at home all alone with you. Like making babies? Aha! Yeah, uh, we should make babies. I was just messing around. But you always call me beautiful. Don't you think I'm beautiful? Are, are you being serious right now? Or Yeah, yes. Yes, I do. I do think you're beautiful. Then kiss me. You know you want to. Okay. Ah. I knew it! Why the fuck did you punch me? You told me to kiss you when I was going to kiss you. Because I have a boyfriend, Kevin, and his name is PJ Smalls, and he's got the biggest dick in North America. PJ, you already told me he doesn't have that big of a dick. Well, he he does have a big dick. It's like this big. That's that's a ridiculous size of penis. No, nobody has that big. Well, it's not that big, but it's it's good size. It's huge. And don't remember what was said last time. Just remember what was said this time. I love that cock. All right, then why were you just trying to kiss me? Because I was just making sure that you knew that I don't want that little cock. You've seen my cock. You know it's not that small. What? When did I, when did I see that? When? At the state fair, remember? Because I got to pass by all those little kids. Are you okay? You're acting really strange today. I'm fine. But you're not. What are you doing right now, Maggie? Just stop. Ah! 
Ah! Ah! Ah! Ah! Ah! Ah! Ah! Ah! Stop hitting me with the baseball bat! What do you want me to do? I want you to stop being my friend forever. What? We've been friends since third grade. Well, I hate you now. And everything about you makes me sick. Do you want me to keep hitting you with this baseball bat? No, no. I'll just, I'll just leave. I'll go. It's okay. trying to cry, but no tears are coming out. Ah, fuck testosterone! Ah. Hey, be careful over there. I got eaten by a bunch of black kids here once. Kevin! Uh, hi, PJ. Oh, it's good to see you. It's been such a weird day today. So what's, what's with the ankle sleeves? Look, check it. Lift your leg up. Like, look, they're like ankle sleeves. You're, you gotta be freezing right now. I am freezing. But well, since... if you're freezing, then maybe you should wear full-legged pants, or maybe even wear big socks. Or you could, you know, wrap sweatshirts around them, or some newspaper, anything to keep the heat in. Yeah, I guess I could have done that stuff, but then again, uh, uh, like, why do you care about my ankle sleeves? Me and PJ switched bodies. It's me. Well, Maggie just kicked my ass a couple hours ago, so I don't appreciate the shenanigans that you're trying to pull here. No, really, it's me. See, watch. Remember? I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. You're clearly PJ. I'm looking at you right now. You're not Maggie. She literally beat my ass, like, three hours ago. Why'd you just look at your wrist? You don't even have a watch on. It's for effect. A lot of people don't wear watches and just still do that. Wait, so... Maggie just beat your ass. So, I don't, oh my god, I just. PJ? Hey, give me that blunt. What was that? Give me that blunt. I think I heard a black person. Hey. I'm back in my own body! You've been in your body the whole time, PJ. No, I was just in Maggie's body. Whoo! I don't understand what you're trying to pull here, PJ. You were PJ ten minutes ago. You're PJ now. You're not gonna make me believe that you were Maggie. I'm not gonna believe you! Why not just not wear the faggy-ass looking ankle sleeves? We already went over this. Yeah, I know, they're ankle sleeves. Pretty cold and such. Newspapers. Why don't you just fucking make them shorts? It's not like you... I mean, you're already gonna be cold with the huge holes, so... Can we just stop talking about my fucking pants? I'm just saying, dude, if you freaking cut the bottoms off, they're just gonna be real nice looking shorts, man. You'd probably get laid. I already got laid three times today by five different ladies with these bad boys. I'm getting out of here. Just straight up. Ooh. What are you looking at? 
Hey, look at that pussy ass white boy. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Get out. I'm Maggie's brother, man. We've met a couple times. You don't knock or ring a doorbell or nothing? Fuck. It's freezing out there, man. I think there might be some black people. You might want to get that checked out. Mag Maggie's brother? So, wait a minute. Are you the one, you the one that uh, was like possessed by a demon for like more than a year? Actually, it was 6th through ninth grade. Junior high was a pretty tough time for me. Dude, the demon made me kill my own grandparents. That demon took my hands. I used my dog's jaw to clamp on their necks until they bled to death. I watched them die through my own eyes without control. But, but you said 6th through ninth grade. 69! <laughs> what are you talking about, man? What does 69 mean? I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, show me. This leaf blower right here, see, this this is the chick's mouth, all right? And you just flip it down. You know what I'm saying, dude? Listen, I came here for a reason. Maggie doesn't want to be with you anymore. <laughs> oh, don't do that, man. There's plenty of things to live for. Well, why would you say that? I'm just going to end it. You don't hey, need to do this. What's the point? You don't need to do this. What's the point? It's Put over. the gun down. Man, that's just... Put the gun down. <laughs> I'm just gonna, what's the point of living, huh? What's the point of living if she's just gonna end it? There's plenty of things to live for. Yeah, you're right, dude. I'll be alright. I just need a bike ride. It's midnight, something's keeping me up, I've lost the feeling in my head. What are you doing with my boxes? Okay. I need to tell you one more thing that Maggie said. No. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. What'd she say? She's pregnant. By another dude. Alright, see you now. What the fuck? Video entry number 11. My fucking ex girlfriend got knocked up by some random dude. And I don't even know who it is. I'm gonna find out. But uh, yeah, my uh, best friend Jason, he decided to steal some macaroni and cheese from a grocery store. Cop tried to arrest me through that. PJ! Dude. What's up, bro? Get the Serious? Dude, dude, bro, what's up, man? Stop. You're in my video entry, dude. So we're brothers. They're supposed to be in everything together. No! <laughs> yes! Dude, you're ruining. Dude, I'm not ruining anything, man. No, get up. No. All right. So look, here's the deal. So my Maggie's brother decided to come over yesterday, telling me that she got pregnant by another dude. Like it's no big deal. So now I know his girl. So I'm gonna go over there and tell her some fucked up shit. She's gonna get pissed off at him. She's gonna bone me, and then well, I'm gonna bone her. She, I don't do that shit. All right. So I'm gonna bone her. She's gonna get pregnant. He's gonna get real upset, and he's gonna feel just as sad as I do right now. Did you need something? 
Oh, you know, I just uh, was thinking, you know, I got some stuff I should probably tell you about, Ronnie. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, I should probably come over and I should probably tell you about this stuff. I mean, you can tell me right now. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna be there in a few seconds. Oh, okay. PJ, what's going on? Actually, it's kind of cold out here. If we could maybe go talk up in your room. No, you can just tell me right here at the doorway. Uh, no, it kind of needs to be in your room. Uh, like it kind of deals I with mean, your room a little bit. My room and Ronnie? But, uh, whatever. Uh, okay, well, it's up here. Mm. Alright. These are really nice stairs. <laughs> Didn't know they made, made stairs with rugs on them. Yeah, they do. Well, here it is. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, I kind of need to scrap this do. I found it on the way. Oh, yeah. If you don't mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wish my room was a little bit more like this. Yeah. So, what did you have to tell me about Ronnie? Is he okay? No. No, he's been doing some pretty messed up stuff. Like what? Well, uh, he's, he's been standing on top of apartment complexes, and when, whenever these little kids walk by, he's, he's throwing rocks at them. I mean, that is kind of weird, but you could have told me that over the phone. I'm just warming you up for what's to come, because it's horrible. Okay. Like, he goes to random houses, I guess, and just asks to make out with them, and they usually do. So you're telling me that my boyfriend walks around town and knocks on random people's doors and makes out with them. Why? Why would he do that? I don't even believe you. Why would I come all the way over here, go up all them steps, there's like 20 steps, just come over here and lie to you, make up some little lie? Like, what's the point of that? I don't know, PJ. I don't want to sit here, though, and believe that my boyfriend is making out with random people. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I don't want to have to be the one to sit here and, and tell you all this messed up shit that he's doing. I mean, I want to have to tell you. That way we can maybe, you know, think of something to get back at Well, what would we do to get back at him with? You know, I don't even think I know of one thing. You know what? No, I do have an idea. What? Tell me. So, what we're gonna do... You know what? No. No, you can't handle it. I don't think you can handle it. Yeah, I can. Tell me. Alright. If you really want to know. So, it's gonna be me and you. You know what? I'm not even gonna talk about this. I'm just no, gonna drop no, it. No, it's fine. Tell me. Tell no. me. Alright, alright. If you really want... I mean... You know, no, no, I don't think you can handle it, really. I'm serious. I'm BJ, tell me! Alright, alright. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bone. And I'm gonna get you pregnant. And then he's gonna shove in his face and be like, Look, I'm pregnant! And, you know, it won't be his. <clears throat> so, uh, should I uh, start unbuttoning my pants? So did you bone her? Hell yeah. Poured a little bit of extra PJ sauce in that Natalie soup. Sounds delicious. Yeah, nothing to feel. I feel higher than this right now. Do you want a bat? I got a guy who has some. Has some what? You got a boyfriend? No. Some illegal substances. Oh. All right. Let's go. Do it. Dude, I am not wearing this wig anymore. Dude, if you're going to hang out with me, you're going to wear it. No! Fine, whatever, dude. Yeah. These stairs suck. Where's the rug at, man? Come on in. What the hell? So what's new, dude? Nah, she had to buy some lipstick. That's what's cool. up. That's cool. I'll show you guys. Sorry guys, just a second. Yeah. Right, it's here somewhere. It, it's really not necessary. We will hit you, man. Yeah, it's no big deal. Sure? Yeah. yeah. Alright. We just ain't the usual, man. Cool, cool. Go on this tweak wrapper, bro. Thanks, man. What the fuck's our money? Uh, I don't have any money, man. I want my money. I want my money. I'm telling them. 
We want our money. All right, hold on, dude. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call right now. Oh, hey, dude. All right, later. Dude, he said he's right outside the door. Hold on, I'll get it. Oh, shit! What the f- Should I stop? Yeah. Alright. Where's my money at? Well, I have this thing over my face. I already know who you are. I've seen you. Oh, yeah. Now, where's my money? I explained it to you. I don't have the money. My friend has. He obviously stole what you gave him. I don't even know what it was. It was a Twix wrapper. Can I trust you to go get the money from him and bring it back to me? Yeah. Somebody heading out, man. Get that money. <laughs> I, have <laughs> I have some bad news for you. Why are you laughing if you have bad news? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, I just get really giggly, so no. <laughs> you just take those glasses off? Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? We haven't even had sex. Well, PJ came over and... He told me all this bad stuff about you, and I got really mad, so it just happened. We'll talk about this later. <sighs> Dear Diary, day number one without Ronnie. This sucks. Hello? Hey, you son of a bitch. Why'd you leave? Well, I didn't have any money either. Alright, dude, I'm gonna slap your face when I get home. Bye. Hey, queer babe, why are you walking in the road? Uh, who are you? Why don't you get a skateboard or something, faggot? Maybe I will. That's, that's none of your business. Who are you? Taylor, who are you? No, no, I'm sorry. What? Sorry you don't have a car. Tongue on his head. Hey, back off my potato head. Hello, PJ. Hope you don't mind I help myself to some water. Ronnie, what the hell are you doing here? I was talking to Natalie earlier. She told me the craziest thing about you. Natalie, uh... No, I don't think I know Natalie. I think you do. Okay, let me put my drink down. I know you had sex with her! No! No, uh... I went over there yesterday. Uh, she didn't want to have sex with me. I, not that I tried. She didn't want to. Uh, but, uh... There's this, uh, she told me that she has sex with this Taylor kid. Do you know, you know Taylor? Taylor McNeil? Yeah, that's the one, dude. He's douchebag. I've seen him before. He's my best friend. Oh, uh, I'd be sore if it was one of my best friends did that to my girl. How do I know you're not making this up? You, you got a gun to my, my head, man, pretty much. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and you have a gun to my face. I will tell the truth. We, we should get him. We should get him. You, we should find him. We should, ch you know. Track him down, and you should just shoot him in the face. The, just the, the first chance. You gotta shoot him. Wouldn't I ask him about why he would do that first? No! We can take my car. Let's go. Alright, dude, so how are we gonna find him? Are we just gonna drive around and hope to see him, or what? Well, let's check his house. It's probably the most likely place. Uh, actually, that's him driving right now down the road. Sweet, dude. Let's go. Let's follow him. There he goes. There he goes. 
So, uh, so this Taylor dude, how do you know him? Uh, we became friends in third grade. He, uh, he got leukemia. And nobody else was friends with him, so we became real bros after that. He lost his hair, I shaved my head. Oh. Yeah, but uh, he's gone into remission a couple times since then. I've been there for him every time. It's really lame that he's porking my gal. <laughs> but, uh, but it is him. It is him. He's, he's gotta die. There you go, he's getting out. Stop right here, stop right here. He's, he's going to our house right now. Shh, don't get too close. Alright, it's time. Let's go kill him. No, I gotta get in the right mindset. No, you don't. Let's go. There's gotta be another explanation. No, there ain't. It's gotta be a different guy doing this. T dude, alright, I'll show you. Let's go. Alright. Hey, dude, I found this pizza crust. Is that cool? Whatever, man. You gotta be sneaky, alright? Just get down and stay low. Taylor's here. Taylor! What's up? Hi! Oops, sorry to say your door. It's fine, just sit down. Okay. So why are you gonna plan this party for Ronnie after what happened? I don't care what happened. My heart still belongs to Ronnie. That's your room up there. Okay, put me on your shoulders. It's getting kind of hot in here. Do you mind if I take off my shirt? I guess. <sighs> Sorry about hitting your lamp. That's okay. Come on, dude, it's cold! Oh my god! Ah! I've seen enough, let's go. You can put your shirt back on now. Okay. <laughs> oh god! Oh! Yeah, dude, that's super messed up. Like, he's in there, showing oh. off his muscles. He's <laughs> about, about ready to give it to her. I can't take it, dude. Oh. All right, look, how, no, right, look, instead, how about we be best friends, all right? Okay. All right, and do, we can go get drunk right now. All right. Let's go do it. Champagne, champagne. <laughs> Tingles throat. Oh, feels good. You gotta get to the bunker, dude. You gotta get to the bunker, then you get down. Get down. Oh, all right. Hey dude, let's go shoot my gun off the street. <laughs> Alright! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna drive over there and give her a piece of my mind. Bye! That was easy! So when he comes in, I'm gonna put this on him. Happy birthday! Yeah, good idea! I found these on the old milk carton in your neighbor's trash. Ronnie, what are you doing here? I'm gonna kick his butt for getting you pregnant. Ronnie, I told you earlier, it's PJ's. Are you drunk? We're best friends, I would never do that to you. Shut your mouth, mouth talker. Natalie, why do you have to do that? My heart's a million pieces. Now I'm gonna have to shoot him in the face. What? This is what. <sighs> I think he's intoxicated. Uh, 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 uh. It's me, PJ. Let's go up to your bedroom. You are not PJ. Bedroom! Don't go up there. I'm gonna call the cops. It's really me! Okay, whatever. PJ, sit down. Sorry, I'm just... Here, just drink this and calm down. Tell me what happened. You only put half of mine full. Um, yours was. Here, you can, you can I just have a sip of yours too? Go ahead. You can. I won't drink it all, so you can have a drink. Okay. 
Hers was a little warmer. I didn't like it as much. So tell me what happened. Well, it's just pretty emotional. Like, I don't even know what to think nowadays because the other night we were drinking. Just hold on. Let me just put these drinks down. I don't know how long your story's going to be. They're actually, there's actually weigh about five pounds each. So hold on. Me and Ronnie got drunk the other night. And then I woke up with a bunch of paper on my head and I unpeeled it. And I guess I got facial reconstruction surgery because now I'm just looking like this. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm better looking, but... Actually, you're not better looking at all. And I don't know if I want to raise this baby with you anymore. First I lose Maggie because she's pregnant with another dude's baby and now I'm losing you because you're a bitch. Real mature PJ. Uh, <laughs> You can kick really hard from sitting down. You look constipated. Do you need some laxatives? I have some hidden in Pluto here. No! I just want to be with Maggie, but I can't. You keep saying that she's pregnant by some other guy. She's not pregnant, PJ. What? She's not pregnant, you fucking idiot. I gotta go call her. <laughs> Jamie unfortunately passed away and seeing him again is just so fun he really was a funny guy and just the way he went with anything I threw at him like playing with the tiger and stuff and uh, we miss you buddy uh, hope you all enjoyed uh, uh.